Intelligent agents are revolutionary computing systems that help you harness the power of AI to make fast decisions and take action. Today we're going to take the most awesome of the modern James Bond film, Skyfall, and use Intelligence Agent 007 as an analogy for computerized intelligent agents. By the end of the episode, you're going to understand how you can use these agents to accomplish important tasks in your business operations. I'm Evan Goldstein, licensed professional engineer and data scientist. I'm creating the AI Capitalist channel to help business leaders use the tools of artificial intelligence. So an intelligent agent is a special type of computer program. Let's walk through the Skyfall story step by step and see how James Bond exemplifies an intelligent agent. At the opening scene of the movie, bad guy agent Patrice manages to escape with a list of all the undercover agents of MI6, the British Intelligence Service. Where is it? Is it there? Hard drive's gone. You sure? It's gone. Give me a minute. They must have it. Get after them. So it's time to give Bond his mission. Take it to Shanghai. Documentation and passport. Thank you. Bond has been given his mission, or in programming terminology, his objective function. Intelligent agents have a capability that makes them more powerful than regular programs. They can learn and change their operating methods in order to better achieve this objective function. The trigger has to be pulled. Or not pulled. It's hard to know which in your pajamas. Q. 007. So a lot like Bond's interaction with Q, who is the MI6 quartermaster, an intelligent agent is able to obtain new tools and information from other agents or from humans. Yes. Also PPKS 9mm short. Mm -hmm. Standard issue radio transmitter. It can also query large language models like ChatGPT in order to get the information it needs to pursue its objective functions. This ability to take in information and gain new tools from its surroundings is what makes an AI agent vastly superior to either just using a large language model alone or just using software alone. It's the combination of skills. So, coming back to the movie, Bond kills Patrice before he can extract any information from Patrice. Oops. Uh, but he does find a poker chip from a casino in Shanghai in, on Patrice's person, and then he goes off to go find it. Following Bond to the Shanghai casino, he meets up with Eve Moneypenny, a more junior agent. He seems to be showing her the ropes and sort of training her. I've got them covered. You gamble? I like a little flutter now and then. Now, this is a more recent AI development, AI intelligent agents are actually able to program new separate intelligent agents when they decide that it will help them optimize their objective function. We can see that Bond does have a certain freedom of action. He is working autonomously, but within limitations. In the AI world of intelligent agents, all of these limitations are constraints. In the case of James Bond, the limitations and actions he faces are similar to pre-programmed rules and policy which determine how far he can go before he loses his license to kill. Bond, like intelligent agents, faces ethical guidelines, safety constraints, resource limitations, and of course, regulatory compliance issues. So within these parameters, Bond, now in Shanghai, meets his femme fatale of the movie, Severine. Following the Bond formula, Severine is actually an agent working for the villain who turns out to be a guy named Silva. In the AI world, intelligent agents are being used in a similar fashion and agents from one source are able to communicate and exchange information with intelligent agents from another source. This communication is one of the most valuable functions of an intelligent agent. And if you feel that you are gaining value from this episode, I would urge you to hit like. Hitting like helps me know that I'm making content that is valuable to you, and it helps spread that content to others. Thank you. So as Skyfall moves forward, Severin brings Bond to Silva, the big baddie. After some banter, Silva shoots Severin, just to show us all how bad he is. 
Then Bond's backup arrives, and Bond makes his escape in Rashid's end, his supervisor to his ancestral home of Skyfall. In the climax of the film, much like an AI intelligent agent, Bond demonstrates learning and adaptability. When Silva attacks Skyfall, Bond uses his knowledge of the estate to set traps and ambushes for Silva's men, and this ability to leverage past experience and improve performance mirrors how intelligent agents use machine learning algorithms to refine their decision-making policies over time. Anyway, intelligent agents have all sorts of business use cases. For example, factory floor robots that teach themselves how to build cars rather than having to be pre-programmed, or maybe a chatbot that can write a more useful content by automatically asking further questions and refining content to something more perfect. But let's just consider the everyday case of a logistics supply chain involving a manufacturer, a shipper, and retailer. These roles may be filled by entirely different companies located in different countries, but trying to communicate to figure out how many units to make, how much space to reserve on the container ship, and how much shelf space to set aside in the store. An intelligent agent from each company, each having different objectives and optimization functions, but all three communicating together to arrive at an optimal solution to the problem can solve this problem more perfectly. Instantly, this should set off a light in your head. How are all of these tasks accomplished now? By people, of course. Employees of each company call each other, meet, or email. They do the best they can to get the right number of products manufactured and delivered to the store shelves at the lowest cost possible. But with intelligent agents, their job functions are now being run instantly, more perfectly, and at a fraction of the cost. It brings up the question, if their job functions can be replaced, can their jobs be eliminated? Are intelligent agents going to be as deadly for jobs as Agent 007 was for Silva? Another question, how far up the food chain does this go? Warehouse workers can be replaced by robots and accountants can be replaced by programmed intelligent agents. How about management? Maybe the board of directors decides they want a CEO who doesn't get tired, answers the phone whenever you call, and doesn't let his personal life get in the way of his job. So the board of directors replaces the CEO with an intelligent agent. Now we're nowhere near that right now, but gaining an understanding of how to think about and define an objective function for an intelligent agent is something you're gonna to have to deal with in your career and in your company. I do plan to have some future episodes where I actually walk through the process of using an AI agent. So get ready, stay tuned, and subscribe to AI Capitalist to learn more.